Hi folks, um, I thought I'd just do a quick video on my latest acquisition. This is a Workman Reed 1.5 kVA generator. Sorry about the noise from the traffic. I've got to have the garage door open, <laughs> let the fumes out when I start the baby up in a minute. But yeah, this is the Workman Reed generator. Now, these were made quite local to me in a little village called Hewish which is not far from Western Supermare. This particular model is fitted on like a little frame with wheels on it and it's powered by a Mark I PETA PAZ1. There's the uh, dynamo alternator, whatever you want to call it. I'm not too familiar with these. This was given to me by Jim Perkins, so thank you Jim. He wanted it to come back to, to near where it used to, well where it was built, because it spent all its life on a, on a farm somewhere up in Nottingham I believe. So he wanted it to come back home. So here it is, it's in Western Supermare now. So the, this, this model dates from about 1956 and it's rated at 1.5 kVA. So these little things would have been used on farms or or any places where you needed a bit of electricity. It would originally have been a startomatic design, so it would have had a, a little solenoid and an operating gear that would operate That's the uh, decompressor and the, uh, the pump. And then it would self-start using the dyno. It would still self-start now for batteries, but that was a bit too far gone because when Jim got this, it was in a terrible state. It'd been left outside for years. It was in a bit of a rusty state, so he's actually renovated it back to this really good condition. He's done the engine up. And the engine runs sweet. I'm just having a, I'm having a few issues with um, producing electricity at the moment on it, but hopefully we'll sort that out. It's a, it's a bloody heavy great lump as well and when we loaded it into into the van it bent the ramp so you've got the weight of this engine itself which is a which is a very heavy lump with the flywheel um and then you've got the dynamo and then the frame so very 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 substantially built and the, the workman reed have long gone now but they did they made all sorts of things they made a bigger generators using the ava better AVA weight range and they went through three kilowatts so it would have had it's got like the control box down there I'm it's, it's a bit stuck in between my PC1 and uh, the other field so I, I, I can't get it out at the moment because it's a bit of a nightmare getting it out so I'm just going to start it up in situ and let me hear it running and uh, give you a quick taste of it a bit later on I'll, I'll get it out properly and, and do a proper run of it but I'm just going to start it up now very easy to start up luckily so I'm going to try and do it one handed here So as I said, it's got the, the Peta PAZ1, the Mark 1 on, with the side decompressor and a slightly different governor arrangement. This one seems to be quite unusual as well because it's got the um, 
it's got an oil feed onto the governor, which is I've not seen before. My other POZ one doesn't have that on it, and it's just got the straight governor, but without the oil feed. Now uh, these are the Dynamo belt driven by two V belts. You can't quite you just about see it under there. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a nice unit, nice, well-made unit. So you know, this is like 60 odd years old now, isn't it? I guess so. Yeah, good on you, Jim. Thank you very much for, for letting me have it and uh, rehoming it. And uh, hopefully we'll get her making electricity soon and uh, we'll get some lights lit up for the next video. Anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all later. Diesel Johnny Boy saying goodbye to you for now.